hello my super cool super fabulous friends and thank you so much for coming to my channel this video is gonna be entertaining to say the least we're gonna be doing a second attempt at creating an aquascape and i use that term very loosely because so far all i've managed to create are aqua disasters but that's okay because here we try and try and try again failure is not always a bad thing because we're learning we're improving we're doing better and i'm excited to give this a second go so if you're new here if you have no idea how you stumbled upon this channel this video i am a bug keeper and so the enclosures we're going to be making today are for aquatic bugs we have a enclosure i should have got the enclosure for this hang on So we have, it's heavy, this three gallon enclosure that we set up in the last video for my diving beetles. And I have done a couple small things since you last saw this enclosure. Um, one of the things being these super cute little floaty plants. They're adorable. So there's that. Oh, it's so heavy. And then behind me here, We have my giant water bug, AKA toe biter enclosure. And in the last video, we set up a very plain, very not cool, very boring, bland setup for the water bugs. And I just don't like it. Like I just can't, I just can't because it's so bland. It's so bland. And they're such cool bugs and I just want them to have a cool enclosure so today we're gonna try to decorate this 10 gallon enclosure so i have some supplies i have like holding things to put the bugs in while we mess around in their enclosures catch cup is always oh my god catch cup is always we have plenty of blue bolt stratum which is gonna be our substrate I have some hardscape options. I really like this piece. It's like really cool. I've used it in like terrestrial enclosures, but it's never really done it for me in a terrestrial enclosure. So I thought an aquatic enclosure might be the way to go. I have this piece too. These are old pieces I've had. Um, probably got them at like Petco or PetSmart, honestly. Then I have some more plant options knocking everything over. I have this super pretty uh, java fern. It's very lush and I love these roots. I don't know if you remember in my last video, all the plants I used weren't rooted. So that was kind of difficult. These plants are rooted, so hooray. We have that moss. Is it java moss, java fern, java moss? Is one of them not java? like this and I was thinking that we could kind of use this to kind of accentuate our hardscape kind of like bring it all together so the hardscape isn't so like stark I also have some cute little babies here one of them is so one of them is these dwarf baby tears and they're good at like carpeting and I really love the look of like a carpeted um floor of a aquatic enclosure if that makes sense so obviously it's not gonna look like super amazing at first when we put this in but it'll grow yeah it'll grow also have this little thing i do not for the life of me remember what this plant is called <gasps> oh no that's okay I hope that aquatic plants are kind of like terrestrial plants in the sense that sometimes you drop leaves during shipping, but they'll come back. And I like that it's in this little tub thingy. Do I leave it in this? Should I? We'll think about that. And in addition, we also have the cute little uh, floating plants. And then I also have two other plants. This, I think it's an Anubius um, attached to driftwood. 
java fern that's attached to driftwood. So those are our supplies. So I'm excited. I feel like we have a good amount of supplies. I try to get as much as I could afford. I mean, it's expensive, especially since I already spend all of my money on my animals. So if you wanna support your girl, watch this video like a hundred times so I can get paid and then go to my TikTok and watch all my videos because I get paid like one cent per million views. So yeah, anyways, let's start the procedure. Um, first things first, we need to catch our critters so that they're not in the way while we are messing with their enclosure. So let's catch them and then we'll get into the, the good part, I hope. Okay. It's been like 10 minutes and the ground is now covered in water, but beetle, check. Water bugs, check. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the water of their tanks. Um, it's just gonna be easier to work with and I need to add the little plant chemicals to the water and um, the water just stinks, so I need to change it. Okay, let's do that. So here we are with our two tanks. Um, I think I'm trying to decide which one I want to start with first. Let's do the most satisfying part and pour in the blue bulbs stratum because it sounds so ASMR. First, I'm going to add a little more to the first tank because I feel like there wasn't enough, quite enough depth for the plants to like root into. Time for the big bag. So I decided to put the bluebell stratum on top of the terrible granite, um, ugly floor substrate because I thought that maybe A, it would provide more room for plants to root and B, it will kind of provide a little more lift since these bugs do um, need more vertical space to swim. I don't know what I'm talking about. Forget it, I just did it. I don't know, it seemed like a good idea. So let's see, we have, we do have the little spider wood pieces from the last enclosure build. I have these large pieces and I wanna see how I can incorporate those. I'm thinking I want to like put the moss on these wooden pieces to kind of dirty them up. And then I think let's think about like our larger plant pieces. What if this was coming out of here? Would that be cool? I think it's kind of cool. And then we have all of our grass pieces. I think I'm gonna stick these kind of big grass pieces like back here in the hopes that they will become luscious and give us like a nice grassy situation. With this small tank, I think I'm gonna put, oh, we, we got roots on our little grass pieces. I think I'm gonna change what I did last time and I'm gonna put the grass in the back. That way it doesn't inhibit us looking into the tank. See, I learned something. Okay, for the baby tears, I don't know what these look like. So I wonder, can I split it? Let's 
see, I just kind of put it in the front. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, I'm feeling so much better this time around. I feel like I almost know what I'm doing. Okay, and then we have two of these driftwood pieces. I'm thinking one should go in this tank and one should go in this tank. I guess we'll put the java fern in here since we already have a java fern in there. Oh no, our moss. I'm kind of thinking about leaving this guy in the bucket. I don't know. Is that frowned upon? What if I put it back here? Now for my beautiful, beautiful rocks that I spent my hard earned money on. So quickly before we put the water in, I wanna show where we're at. So this is tank number one, the small tank. I'm actually really happy with the minimalistic kind of vibe. We have the pieces of spider wood, the baby tears, which should grow in and fill the bottom, the grass, which will hopefully fill the back, and then the beautiful little rocks, which you know I just love. The floaters will be on top, and I love the floaters for the diving beetles because they can kind of float on them. Super cute. And so, yeah, sorry for the reflection, but overall, I'm so happy. Next up, the water bug enclosure. Ah, the glare. I'm really, really liking where we're going with this one too. I love the hardscape. The moss will grow in. I like this java fern coming from here. And then this little guy, I don't know what he's gonna do, but the grass will hopefully kind of grow out. And then we have this Anubius. I think that's what it is on this driftwood piece. So overall, I think it's looking so much nicer and I think we should put the water in. Okay, so, so it is not fully full of water. It looks even less full in person <laughs> because I couldn't carry the tank in and I have to put it on a shelf, but I am so happy with how this naturalistic setup looks for the water bugs. Look how just like natural. I am so pleased right now. I just, I just don't even know. Like, it looks so good. I'm so happy. I know it's not perfect, but like, I'm so happy. Look at these friends. They're so cute. It just looks, it just looks so natural. Oh, I'm so happy. It looks like everything I wanted. that is the most cardio exercise I have ever gotten during making one of my videos. I literally am breaking a sweat from carrying that 10 gallon tank full of water back and forth in and outside. But man, I do hope that you saw some good after footage before you made it to this outro. I'm filming the outro now because I figure that'll be easier, but I'm hoping that you saw some great after shots where the water is clear, the bugs are swimming, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's fabulous, I hope, right? If not, that's okay too. It's all learning experience. I'm learning so much as I go with these aquatic enclosures. I still don't think I'm sold on having any pet fish yet, but I do feel so much better about my abilities to cre create aquatic enclosures. I'm loving my aquatic bugs. They are giving me such good vibes, such happy, happy good vibes. I love watching them. I just love watching them exist, it's so fun. And just a reminder, if you wanna get your own aquatic bugs, I highly recommend going to Bugs in Cyberspace. They're the only place that I know that sells them. So go there, they're great, they're great quality, they're, everything is great, I'm not sponsored, they're just great. Okay, I need to go like have a drink of water and lay down. <laughs> I'm so out of shape that just doing all those water changes was like, that was enough for me. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed doing this. I feel, again, I learned so much and it's just been so fun. So if you have any questions about the aquatic bugs, let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Every view, every comment, every like counts when you're a new creator like myself. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok where I post all kinds of things, daily little things on TikTok. Um, little videos, little pictures on Instagram. Same name as here, it's all just slightly venomous. And thank you for watching.
Bye.